Hi, this video we're going to look at uh, compressibility. So, um, compressibility uh, factor is when they are kind of like ideal gas equation, but not quite like. So, they're going to have this compressibility factor Z to account for that. So, that ideal gas equation will become PV equal to uh, ZRD. And here, Z of V is your specific volume. You know, where's that coming from? Ideal gas equation, let's write it down. Ideal gas equation is P small v equal to RT. Right, so there's a coefficient of one here. But sometimes it's not gonna be quite ideal gas. This, this one, that's the reason they use Z compressibility factor. Z here is compressibility factor. Okay. Uh, then how do we find this Z? Uh, and Z, you know, Z is in a range between zero and one. And uh, you wanted to find the Z, we're going to look at this compressibility chart. And there is a picture that's in the textbook uh, I took out from here. Uh, and also you can find at the back of your book, table uh, figure A15, have another compressibility chart. And the way to read it is we need to find out our TR and uh, PR. We're talking about the TR and the PR, reduced temperature and reduced pressure in the last video. That is basically the given temperature divided by the critical temperature, which you can get that from table A1, right? And the same wise for reduced pressure would be given pressure divided by the critical pressure. So knowing those, we can go ahead and find our reduced temperature and reduced pressure. Once we know those value, that's gonna be our x-axis for reduced pressure. And then you can see there's a TR that's in different legend. So corresponding to right curve, then you look across, you can find your Z. Z is gonna be our compressibility chart. That's in general how we find Z value. Now let's take a look at uh, one example. Um, so near the critical temperature and the critical pressure of a gas, it will behave like ideal gas, except that sustentity can be a little bit higher than the ideal gas. So in that situation, based on what you know, compressibility um, behavior, what would be the volume of six kilogram? So mass here is six kilogram, and it's argon. And they said it's kind of like ideal gas, but not. So we're gonna definitely consider the compressibility factor. And the temperature here is given as 158.55 Kelvin. That's already in absolute temperature. And the pressure is 2.916 megapascal. All right, the, so the way to solve this type of problem, first, we need to find our reduced temperature and the reduced pressure using given the temperature divided by the critical. So we're using 158.55 Kelvin. Then where do we find the reduced uh, critical temperature? That's gonna be from our table A1, all the back to table A1. And this is argon. And the reduced uh, critical temperature is 151. Same way, we're gonna find the reduced pressure, given pressure divided by the critical pressure, 2.916 megapascal, then divide by 4.86 megapascal. All right, let's go ahead and calculate, see what we got. So we have the TR and the PR calculated as 1.05 and uh, 0 
Now we're going to go ahead and look at uh, the chart, compressibility chart. Um, that's from table A15 and 1.05 for TR and uh, PR is 0 0.6. So let's go ahead to table A15. All right, so there are two charts here at table A4, uh, A15. And the first one is for reduced pressure as between zero and one. The second one has a higher range from zero to seven. So for this problem, our PR is 0 0.6. So the top one is better. And then you can see there's an inlet. For that inlet is for this very dense area, it's hard to find. Then they have this value here from 0 to 0 0.1. So basically, it's this range right here. Then they zoomed in. Uh, we don't need to use this inlet because our PR is 0 0.6. So go ahead at x axis, 0 0.6, go up. And we need to find our right uh, TR, reduced temperature. Uh, our calculation gives us 1.05. And then we do have one curve, it's 1.05 right here right so with 0 0.6 and 1.05 and our intersect around this value here it's around 0 0.8 so you look across you know that's our compressibility factor 0 uh, 8 z uh, so here what we are going to use here it's around 0 0.8 you know how what works picky, but here I'm going to tell you the Z they will be using in their coding is 0 0.805. And that's how that number is coming from. All right. So this is critical. Know how to read the chart, find the compressibility. You need to find a TR and a PR and uh, come across. You got to a Z. Now we're going to use our equation P small V equal to ZRT. So here Z is no longer 1. If it's 1, that would be ideal gas, right? They want, they want us to find out the volume, okay? So first I'm going to try to find a specific volume will be ZRT divided by P. Z is 0 0.805 and this is argon. So we're going to go back to find our gas constant. That's from table A1. Gas constant for argon is 0.20A1. Then our, that's our R, and what's our given temperature? Our given temperature, it is 155.55K. Then our given pressure, is in that many megapascal you want to change to uh, we're going to change to kilopascal because uh, that's the number we're using why because r here is in kilojoule per kilogram per kelvin right and uh, so with kilojoule we're going to change this megapascal to kilopascal that's 219 2916 kilopascal. All right, so doing all of that, we should get the correct unit of meter cube per kilogram. Let's pause and see what we got for this value. The value I have is very small, it's 9.108 times 10 to negative 3. That specific volume, if we're going to get big V, that's going to be mass times our specific volume. And I believe the mass is given for this problem. It's 6 kilogram. So 6 kilogram times 9.18 times 10 to the negative 3. That will give us a unit of meter cube. All right, that's the desirable units they want us to have. Let's pause see what we got. So the answer I have here is 0 
four, six, five. All right, so let's uh, wrap up this problem, compressibility. Um, then we know how to look for Z, compressibility factor, and we know how to solve a problem involved with this compressibility factor. All right, that's all for this uh, video. I'll see you next time. Bye.